fighting fraud, waste, and abuse is an enormous issue for government at all levels. The Washington State Department of Labor and Industries is at the forefront in the battle against the misuse of government funds. That our agency was trying to find a way to say, you know, we're government and we have to provide certain functions, we have to do certain regulatory things, but we also need to treat our customers as customers. Preventing fraud and dealing with those issues is one of the absolute most important things to us, and we set up teams to deal with employer fraud, um, worker claimant fraud, and uh, medical provider fraud, and started making a lot of changes about how we do things, how we go about things. The state of Washington is the major provider of workers' compensation for both employers and employees. Identifying employers who evade workers' compensation taxes is fundamentally an issue of fairness. The state must pay workers' injury claims even if the business paid no insurance premiums. The SAS Fraud Framework for Government helps the state discover previously undetected fraud patterns and reduce the impact of an underground economy on honest businesses and taxpayers. We did a study with our Department of Revenue and our Unemployment Department uh, a few years ago and identified for the three agencies about $150 million a year tax loss. Before 2004, when we really started to, to ramp up our programs, we were, for example, finding about $8 million a year that was for, in our audit programs that employers weren't paying. And since then, we've tripled that. Last year, we found over $24 million, and that's how we get funding, uh, even in hard economic times when other parts of our agency, other agencies are laying people off, that we've been able to you know, add some technology and, and keep going because we have a strong track record of if you give us $1, we're going to give you 8 to $10 more back. Knowing technology could play an important role in detecting and prioritizing suspicious activity. The state issued a request for proposal seeking a comprehensive system to help the agency get in front of problems before benefits or funds are paid. What we wanted was we wanted ideally a single solution that would help us do what we call identity resolution, which is have a solution that would allow us to take multiple data sources. So instead of logging into multiple systems to do the research, we wanted one system that would, at a glance, uh, tell my staff, okay, we either have a problem or we don't. We also wanted a system where the interfaces were really easy, a fairly simple solution that would give us actually really good graphical interfaces so that you could see a picture of what was going on. And we wanted the social uh, analysis piece. When we did our, our request for proposal, uh, there were four top vendors, uh, SAS being one of them. The other three all use SAS analytics at some point in their, in their system. And so we decided rather than go pay somebody else to help us install, install SAS, we'd just go, go with the source. The new fraud framework will reduce audit time, increase audit assessments by one-third, and identify 40% more unregistered employers. Those businesses lacking any 